right. Hey folks, this is Dr. Richel. I'm here again with uh, Bob, who is one of our SIBO cases that we've been kind of chronicling. And uh, you've been doing great. And I don't know if people can see this on the camera, but I, I think you're, you're looking a lot better than you did several months ago. And he was just commenting to me that some of his friends were even saying, you, know, you, you look a lot better than you did several months ago. So sure. it's always nice to look good, right? Um, well, but, you're 75, just being able to be looked at is good. <laughs> right, right. Uh, but the other thing that I, I really wanted to share with people, um, your SIBO is still, you're still positive for SIBO, but the man on my, move, sorry, move that, because that is, will sound like, uh, that's a mic, so. Um, <laughs> you can uh, edit this out, I hope. Yeah, we can, yeah. We can do it. We might even leave, it's kind of fun yeah. to um, but the, one of the things I really wanted to share um, about Bob's case is that his SIBO values are better than they were before, but he's still positive for, for methane and for hydrogen. But even in spite of that, through cleaning up his diet, through uh, treating you in a holistic fashion, I guess I would say, you were able to go on vacation recently to Italy, right? Uh, France and France, England. France yeah. and Italy. Mm -hmm. And you were able to go on vacation and eat food, have some bad food, have some wine, and be okay. So would you mind sharing a little bit about that with people? Well, I think uh, to back up, um, I was plugging along and getting marginally better, um, but still having difficulty um, completing meals and still had effects of, uh, of uh, burping and belching and so forth, but less and less, and I was sort of living with it, but getting a little bit better. But I uh, was apprehensive about a 50th wedding anniversary trip to uh, Paris and London, and my wife was uh, probably more uptight about me being uptight. But <laughs> anyway, off we went, and uh, I decided to hell with it. If I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down eating, uh, which I enjoy. So, uh, yeah, as the uh, doctor said, uh, I just sort of put my nose down and uh, had my glass, maybe two glasses of wine, and ate what I wanted to eat and I didn't wasn't any more symptomatic uh, with or without it so I said well that's 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 good so that sort of gave me confidence to keep plugging along and then we tweaked the uh, treatment when I got back and I also I think it's important I've been on uh, pain medication for years and years and years because of chronic low back problems and every doc I've been to and, and uh, including Dr. Rizko knows that that uh, opioids are bad for your system. See, for SIBO, yeah. For SIBO in particular. So I've worked at reducing those, and I have been able to cut it in probably about in half. Just recently. Yeah. Just recently. And uh, whether that's coincidental to feeling better with my SIBO or which came first, I can't sit here and tell you, but the combination is that I'm taking less pain medication and my energy level is better, and my weight is up, and I'm sort of at where I want to be, and I've sort of leveled off at this point, and I'm pretty much eating what I, what I want. The only restriction I have right now, uh, specific foods, peppers, spicy food sometimes gets me, but is the, uh, I can't eat a lot at any one meal. It's, uh, so, uh, all is uh, pretty good relative to where I was. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, again, it, you know, it's great that Bob's seen these improvements, even though his SIBO labs are still positive. They're better, but they're still positive. Part of the reason why, as I'm, I'm so glad to mention this, is, is because he is on opioid painkillers, which can prevent SIBO from fully going away. But I um, thought this was a really nice moment to capture where um, I think sometimes you get neurotic about trying to make the lab values clear, but uh, in some cases, you can still have uh, a partial positive finding and still function and, and be quite comfortable right. and, and not, not right. too bad. Right. Uh, and, and Bob is uh, living proof of that. Um, anything else you want to share? Or no, on? no, I think so. a lot of it is uh, accepting what life gives you a little bit yeah. and uh, work with it and don't let it get you down uh, emotionally because it can exactly. do it. Exactly. And Bob is one of the funniest patients that we have here. Every time he leaves, the whole staff leaves, or the whole staff's laughing behind yeah, him. Yeah, but so I always pay. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> so thankful for that. <laughs> All right, folks, well, we'll keep you updated. Thanks so much. Thanks, Bob. Okay.